Hi, my name is Alan. I'm a Power Apps Champs and also I'm a Microsoft MVP. So today I'm going to walk you through uh, a solution on how to draw live uh, raffle tickets here yeah, using Power Apps, right? So today because of COVID-19, uh, a lot of the live event of uh, physical drawing that we used to do in terms of drawing raffle tickets, we can't perform it anymore physically to perform the live drawing across a, a Teams meeting and we want to do it um, in a very exciting way and, and a fun and lots of actions, right? So today you will see this uh, example. You'll be able to uh, come up with something like this, what I have on the screen right now. The next section of this uh, walkthrough will be the mechanism of how to go fetch the data and pick a random row uh, from a list of assigned tickets. Yeah. So earlier on, you saw that this app was connected to a SharePoint list, uh, two lists. Yeah. We have the the item list and we have the ticket list. So in this case. We want to go to the ticket list and pick one random row, right? The lucky number uh, from a pool of only the assigned ticket. So to do that, again, go back to the start button and go to on select, right? And this time round, I'm going to add a row to say clear collect. Yeah, I'm going to collect. Uh, the random rows from from this uh, 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 SharePoint list. Yeah? I'm going to call it a random row. Okay, I'm going to give you a name, random row. And uh, from here, I need to pick from this uh, uh, list, right? So I'm going to first filter these tickets. Okay, and I say I just want the tickets that are assigned. Okay. I just want the ticket that are assigned. However, this uh, is just the first step, which is filtering those assigned tickets. This will be hundreds of them, right? So depending on how many tickets you sold in the raffle. So, but from here, I want just one, right? So what do I need to do? You shuffle it, yeah. You use this function, this built-in function in Power Apps called shuffle. I shuffle this. Thing. I do not want it to be in sequence. I want it completely random uh, that even I do not know how the logic is going to work. This is built by Microsoft, right? So they, it's going to be very fair. And then from here, it's shuffling the, the whole data set, but it is still returning hundreds of rows. I just want one row, right? So I say shuffle it and then give me the last row. You can use the first row if you want. Yeah, I say give me the last row. So with that, now I have a, a, a table, a collection with one row, right? So this is the winning ticket, yeah. So this is the part which is uh, critical and it will give you, it will drive a lot of other things, right? So once you have that, you can have a quick look. I will want to have a look at what this number is, right? So what I will do is I will do a quick run, right? Okay, and I can have a quick look at what do I have in there. Now you see I have a random row. Yeah, ticket number 1364, yeah? So I have 1364 in there because of uh, the shuffle, right? And then from here, what I need to do now is to display the number in a fun way. I could, uh, I mean, I could easily choose a number, like just show a, a label. Say for example, show me that random row, right? Uh, that random row, give me the 
title which is the ticket number yeah okay and because it is a table you want it to be the first record right okay and one three six for sure right so uh this is a way to to just uh for you to validate the number right so you know that your your winning ticket is one three six four now uh the the challenge here is i do not want to show it just like this i want the number to be like you no know, spinning giving this spinning effect and until the finish of the drum roll then show me the the winning number right so to do that i am going to split this four digit numbers into four diff individual number right so i can display them in a random basis so to split this uh, binning number into four different digits what i will do is immediately after the click collect right i will then uh, set four variable variables right so i will give it a, a thousand digits hundred digits ten digit and unit digit and each of them i am taking the uh the, using the left right uh, function to read the first character the uh, the second character the third character and the last character this will give me the four digits of uh, the winning number separately right so that's the first step so the next step will be to display those number right so i'm going to put in a tag uh, a label okay and this time around i'm going to make it large yeah and this label i'm going to use the same uh, font and i'm gonna make it super super big yeah it's not big enough maybe 150 okay so now i have a super super big text and for this particular one the text will be uh, i want the first number so it's the thousand right the thousand digit and it should give me the number and because i haven't clicked it yet so i won't see it so i'm going to just quickly uh, run it there you go so i have a one of the 1138 right uh, and from here i am going to uh, not just show one one the, the one right i want it to uh, I want it to change, keep changing until the music is over, right? Until the, the drum roll is over. When the drum roll is over, this number show the final number. And to do so, again, it's a very similar technique as the ring that we went through earlier on, right? And this ring, we need a timer, right? So we can use back the same timer, same concept as per this, this uh, ring, right? So we can say, the uh, if the drum roll is running show me a rolling number right uh, and then uh, when the drum roll is finished then show me the, the final number so what i will do is uh, i'll copy this yeah i'll copy this formula in here and i'll bring it here and i say this is uh, the text for thousand digit right and i say in the thousand digit if the drum roll is true right give me this the 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 number that is changing otherwise give me the thousand digit okay so let's give it a shot and see how it looks like Voila, so it's moving, but it's moving very fast, right? With uh, some unwanted characters. All right, so there's a little problem there, right? Why is it giving me that number, right? It's because you must remember this one was giving me uh, a number between 0 0.3 to 1 right so you have a 0 0.3 and 1 uh, so you have a three characters that's why you see more than that 
So what I need to do is to make sure that this one only return one character. So what I would do is uh, I would change this formula slightly. Yeah, I'm going to say uh, just for the sake of it, I'm going to use the mod right and say uh, use the modulus of this number and say I, I, I do not want it to be limited to three because I don't have the alpha issue. So I just say uh, give it to one. Yeah, I don't want it, just, uh, but I do not want it to show zero. Give it to one, but I divided by a hundred. Okay, and uh, I want it to mod by ten. So you will return me a number between uh, zero to nine. Yeah. So with that, I know that for sure it will only one digit. Yeah. Okay, let's start again. Yeah, now it's working, right? So it's uh, only one digit is showing. Okay, so now that is working. So and with that, I am going to duplicate this three more times, right? So. them nicely okay however I do not want them to show all thousand digits I want to show it 100 digits here and I want to show this as the 10 digit and I want to show this the unit digit here okay so I have the matching number now except that they're now all split up right um, one other thing is that by doing this, you will realize that they are all going to spin at the same rate and uh, showing the same number at the same time, right? Which is uh, not fun, right? Not random enough. But I want to, what I want to do is make them slightly different. So since this is 100 uh, with, a, with the offset of 100, I'm going to make this with the offset of say 300. And this one with the offset of 500. And this will be the offset of 700 yeah so now it should give me completely random yeah yeah so now we got it uh, spinning one nine nine two right so it's all good so uh now we have the spinning number now we're going to beautify it next right so we're going to hide this uh, actually we do not need this anymore and this one i do not need it anymore so i have uh, the random number okay so i what i'm going to do is i'm going to make it a bit like a lottery machine right the or not not lottery machine the the jackpot machine with the the flipper of the cards uh, in the background of the number flipping and while uh, give me the impression that it's, it's flipping because the number is, is scrolling, right? So to do that, I'm going to bring in an image. Yeah. So from here, I'm going to upload a image. So I have an image file uh, called number in number. Okay, I have an image file uh, called flipper. Okay, I'm going to bring in the flipper. So what Flipper looks like, I'm going to show you quickly. Flipper is uh, just a, a, a rectangular with a round the corner and a chip off uh, uh, top center. And just to give you a bit of an uh, impression that it is like a, like a card, right? So I'm going to park it somewhere here and send it to the back. and then position it nicely say in the middle yeah and make them align together okay so now I'll go back to my app and I have the image so I'm going to rename this flipper uh, thousand Flip a thousand, I want it to be to, to same size, yeah. So that is easier to manage later. Okay, 
so and then I'm gonna look for the label so this is the thousand digit do housekeeping thousand digit and it's a label right so LPL okay and then this is the hybrid digits this uh, thousand digit four times three times sorry okay all right so now that I have all the numbers uh, uh, all the flippers ready so what I would do is uh, format it a little bit by giving it a bit of uh, right, correct white color right so that uh, it looks better that way and uh, I want to give it uh, a bit of a sh shadow effect right so what I would do uh, because this is a, a, a rolling number so easier way would be just just duplicate this yeah and then uh, give them a different color give them a, a, a say gray yeah and then this give it a bit of offset as well so you want it to be slightly offset yeah so that it gives the impression that uh, it is uh, the shadow right so I will do this this way and then I'm gonna select the other four and bring them to the front Voila. so now we have a slight shadow there right so this form are the shadow so it doesn't look like it's dark enough I'm gonna give it a bit slightly darker tone there you go right so now I have uh, 1992 there and I want to give it a bit of uh, the jackpot machine feel so I'm gonna put a line across the middle yeah. so insert rectangular and I'm going to just give it a straight line over here to give you the feel that it's like a cut off right it's like a cut across the cut so park it in the middle and I want it to be black color yep okay so now if feels like the, the cut has been intentionally cut away yeah so and I want it to be like this okay so now I have a, a design that seems to work right so I'm gonna give you a test again yeah right so now we have the number working, we have the visual working, uh, and the next step is to display the winner, right? So what we need to do is to uh, before we do that, let's let's make it pretty, right? Let's bring in some color to the to the app. Yeah. Okay, so to upload an image, it's just like the other the, the previous steps. All I need to do is just go find the image, right? So in this case, uh, it is in my app folder. I'm just going to put it in here. Yeah. So I have a, a background. One is the name. So I'm going to click on any blank space and choose background one as the image. And I want it to fill up the space. Voila. Now it looks so much better, right? 